Hello, my name is Martin Castro and I will be talking about the Portland Open Space Sequence. This landmark is located in the South Auditorium District, just south of downtown Portland and west of the Willamette River. In 1958, the city decided to revive the old district because it was becoming uninhabited. Many were leaving Portland because of the urban sprawl that was happening in the inner city. So the city hired Lawrence Alprin, a renowned landscape architect, to help. They hired him to create a more inviting environment for the citizens and tourists of Portland. His initial concept was to create something similar to the Willamette River nearby. He wanted people to flow like water through his design spaces such as the river did through Portland. He designed a total of four fountain plazas on a two-mile stretch from the district to downtown. The first one was a small plaza with a small fountain in the middle, representing the beginning of the experience. The name, the source, was given by Halprin. The second one was Lovejoy Fountain Park. This fountain was dedicated to Asa Lovejoy, who was one of the first settlers in Portland. This plaza was based on the concept of celebration and congregation. Alperin wrote on his notes that this place was to be used for all types of events. The third plaza is Pettigrove Park. The park was also dedicated to one of Portland's early settlers, Francis William Pettigrove. This park is a, is a contrast of all the other parks. Due to its small mounts and curvy pathways, while the others have their hard edges and lines, this park was made to represent the pedestrian flow through its pathways such as the river did through its channels. The last plaza is Keller Fountain Park. The original name was Fort Court Fountain Park, but renamed in 1978 after the head of the Portland Development Commission, Ira Keller. Alprin was assisted by the newly assigned designer, Angela Benajova. The concept behind this fountain was a nearby Cascade Mountain. Alprin enjoyed how water circulated through the mountainous terrain and flowed down the cascade. He wanted to convey everything being pulled towards one point and be united in one place, just like the cascade and his project did. So between 1966 and 1970, Lawrence Halpern helped revitalize downtown Portland in such way that no other could have.